Where can we head next? So, did you find the old boy I was telling you about before? Uh, yes, we found others. Unfortunately, he was unable to help us with our predicament. We urgently need to find someone, you see. Well, that's too bad now, isn't it? Who is it you're after, then? Not that funny-looking girl who went by earlier, is it? Ah, that may well be her. Which direction did she go? Oh, she was heading straight for the fish market, I reckon. Thinking she was asking for a trout fillet fresh from the lake. Because that's the only reason people would head in that direction, surely. Great, so there's a chance just to be there. Or at any rate, someone will have seen her. Let's go. Alrighty. Looks like we're coming close to having uh, explored this whole town. That's not her! Silly. Hit coins! Where shall we find hit coins? A brown, round object on the ground. <laughs> that? <laughs> it's an object. The thing for tying boats to. Uh, orange bag on wall to left. No, I didn't mean to talk to you! Go away, carpet! Fresh fish! Fresh fish! You there, the gentleman in the hats. That's too close to answers. How about some nice light, trout, light hot trout for your tea? Go catch today! Far for the price of three, fresh to dress, twice as lovely with a bit of lemon. Ugh, oh, dead fish looks kind of slimy and yucky. Well, fresh gill trout is delicious, at least when my mum makes it. Unfortunately, we're not in a position to be grilling fish at the moment. Yeah, that's a pity. So, should be hink coin like here? Yeah, there is hink coin here. Uh, rope to the front of the boat. So that will be there. And the crate at the centre of screen. There we go. Uh, do you have some kind of puzzle for me? Yes, you do. Oh, you faces! Let me look at you! Ha, I take it you're the ones who've been travelling in that funny little airship, huh? Oh, you have, a, you have an annoying voice. Yes, well, we've both been travelling in that one. How did you know? Did you see the postonians come down? No, no, just heard about it. I can gossip, you know? And airships are always crashing around here, so it's easy to spot the virus. Oh, sorry, how insensitive of me. I make it sound like a joke, but it's a horrible thing to happen to you. Yeah, a little bit. We're, we're, we're suffering post-traumatic stress disorder from that from that fall. Well, we should be. That was a huge fall. That we went down on zip line and everything. Actually, the market gossip may be of use to us. There was a young girl with us. We lost sight of her during our impromptu landing. A girl? Really? Huh. Funny, it didn't look like one of you lot. One of us lot. Right, but you did see a girl. How about this? I'll tell you what I saw if you solve this puzzle for me. Ah, uh, Leighton, 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 your reputation just precedes you everywhere, doesn't it? Okay, 40 picarats, gonna be a difficult one. Number 14, Blooming Flowers. A family expecting a new arrival wants to celebrate by filling a garden with flowers. These flowers can't be planted any old way, of course. <coughs> Each flower must be surrounded by flowers of a different colour. With this in mind, use the various blocks, blah, blah, blah. Uh, flowers can't be planted in the square that contains the family's house. So, uh, based on that, I'm going to be assuming that the idea is to make... Uh, is to basically make it so that it's like a checkerboard pattern. I can do that. I, I think I can do that. <laughs> Uh, how are we going to do this then? Yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much going to have to go like around there or so. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is going to be a... Can I can I turn these? Can I rotate them? I, I don't think I can rotate them, can I? Uh, I very much don't think I can rotate them. I think the main problem in this uh, is actually going to be... Uh, Figuring out where exactly I can put the edges. Because that's the main like, sticking point, I think. Although this seems to be going well at the moment. I'm, 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 not, I'm not holding any, cl any like promises, but I think we might have solved the puzzle. Just just okay, maybe. Just, just, it might just be a little bit solved. I don't know. Yes! We got it! Just, just possibly. I, I don't know. I just kind of put them all in and then they were all done. I don't know. <laughs> The garden is filled by beautiful blossoms. Incidentally, the new arrival is a baby goat. It better not eat all those flowers. I'm sure it will. 
Awesome! Great stuff! You're not bad at landscaping, are you? Alright then, I'll spill the beans. There was a guy long ago heading toward Boris's hut. Boris Johnson? He lives here? Oh my god. <laughs> you know, Mr. Strong and Silent, the fisherman? That yeah, doesn't sound like Boris Johnson. I see. So if you go in that direction. You might run into her, yeah! It's not a very busy part of town, so if she's there, you'll probably spot her quickly enough. I see. Thank you very much for your help. By the way, you seem pretty deaf with that flower bit puzzle. Do you reckon you enjoy taking on a bit more of a challenge? Do you have more puzzles for us? You mean more flower bit puzzles? Definitely. I thought I was pretty good at the last one. <laughs> I'm really into gardens and stuff, but delicate exotic plants are just hopelessly in Call of Duty. I don't know if that's the soil or the climate, but everything just shrivels up. So here, you'll get more use out of it than me. Oh, it's the third mini game. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, Victorian Terrace is the first lesson. It's the first level. Plant special flowers in just the right spot and bring the garden to life. I guess we're gonna have to check that out, then, aren't we? Yep, I guess we're not gonna have any kind of choice whatsoever. And we finished on this sub map. <laughs> It's just so funny how we can go through some maps this fast. Uh, in Blue Shroom, your aim is to plant four different types of flowers. It looks kind of like uh, plants vs. zombies or something. Uh, plant four different types of flowers and bring each of the garden back to life. Inflatus Potentii! More commonly known as birth flowers produce a unique blast of energy when they bloom. Strength and direction varies according to the colour of the flower. Okay. Oh my god, I have no idea what I'm doing. You've got a fixed number of flowers for each garden. Okay. Blast of energy covers four squares in both vertical directions. Uh, blue flowers is horizontal. Yellow is plus sign. Pink is all around. Uh, fences block energy. Okay. Blast of energy for flowers can reach the other side of the fence, however, if there is a gap in it. Energy can't pass through any squares in the garden, they've already been touched by an energy blast. Any squares are energy blast is part of the bad thing on the touch screen. Uh, energy fusion by birth flowers is going to grass greener and cause trees to bloom magnificently. Toxic mushrooms will kill people. Cloud will cover every square, okay. Red star is square. For the, flower, the flower plate here will bloom first, breach of blast of energy. Turn the initial blast of energy into the same reaction. Okay, so we all but like light up the whole garden. Well, bring all the dead trees back to life. Uh, need to revitalize every single square. Mushrooms excluded. Wait, wait. Do I need to revitalize every single square? Ah, poo. Let's <laughs> uh, skip ahead. Skip ahead. Skip ahead. I, 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 uh, I kind of half read that. I should probably just start and like figure it out. <laughs> But I don't wanna. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I've already read this once. I've already read this once. I don't I don't know if I understand the mushrooms part of it. Okay, yeah, 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 I get that, I get that, I get that. Touch blue, bring the dead trees. If you want to be per Okay, I need to I, I need to get the perfect. Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what this really is. I'm just looking at the bottom screen right now. So, pink is all around. I think I want to use like a blue for this one, don't I? Uh, no I don't. Because that's too far. But if I use that, then that'll like do all these. I can put a, green, a blue on there. And like a, a red one there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then two blues there. No, two purples there. And then two of these there, and that should do it, right? Because yeah, that'll bloom, and then that'll bloom, and then that'll bloom, and then that'll bloom, and then that'll bloom, and everyone's happy except the toxic mushrooms. Okay, <laughs> is that perfected? Can I can I see if it's perfected or or just normally done? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh whatever, I win. I win, and there is no arguing with the fact that I win. Let's move on. Let's move on before someone tries to uh, argue with me. I know she's around here somewhere. You're not doing yourself any favors by protecting you, you know. Let's get do this again. 
Try and work, tell me where the little missy is. Or I might have to take it myself, myself to rearrange that honker of yours. He's not human either! Look at him! <laughs> His nose is the penis. That's all I have to say about that. I do uh, I told you, I turned around, she was gone. Right off the market. Oh, I. So what if I went looking near those boats, eh? What would I find there? Uh. Oh dear! Do you think we should just go back the way we came? Oh, we didn't see any sign of her on our way from the market, so it must mean she's still around here somewhere. Let's ask that man. He seems to know something about the situation. Uh, let's not. Let's actually go back to the map and go back down because I forgot something. <laughs> uh, what do I need to look at? That. Look, Luke, there's a fish paint on this wall. It's looking a bit sorry for itself, though. The paint's all peeling away! Why don't they clean it up like in this puzzle? <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a great way to uh, segue into a puzzle. Puzzle number 15 is something fishy. Uh -huh, get it? Fishy? Because it's about fish! <laughs> yeah, fly for crust. Post your pieces for me, so it's signs you spell the reason in the right place. We don't want to take them all off the sign at the time in case they blow away in the wind. You can recreate the poster by moving three pieces at a time, either up, down, or sideways. Okay, rearrange the poster pieces by sliding them. Okay, so wait, wait, how, how do I... Okay, I can move that. Wait, 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 what? I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure I understand what I'm doing here. I can move that down and then that, like... Uh, up, up, left, and then left. No, oh right, okay. I, I think I understand what the puzzle wants me to do now. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, let's restart. But I'm not entirely sure what the finished puzzle is supposed to look like. Uh, this is going to be difficult. <laughs> uh, what do I want the back to be? Is that supposed to go at the back? I can't really visualise what this fish is supposed to look like. Uh, I'm pretty sure, okay, the eyes obviously going at the front. Fair enough. That, okay, the top is done. The top is correct. Uh, I, the middle kind of looks correct. The middle looks weird. Because none of these pieces actually make it look any good at all. Maybe that one. Maybe that one. So how do I get that piece up to there? I know how I do this. I do that, and then... I should be able to just... Uh, I need to move the very bottom piece to the very right. Which I can do like so. Oh, okay. <laughs> Solved. And someone outside is using done. a leaf blower, so I'm talking loud. Like, go over him. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> You know, maybe all that crack paint is so bad after all. It gives things a nice retro feel. You may even say... Vintage! <laughs> oh, I see what you... I see what you... What you did there. <laughs> I mean, this isn't the time or place for puns. <laughs> how, how do you even make that work in, in like, conversation? <laughs> No. Squirrel says there are hit coins here. Okay. Oh man, I missed the puns. I'm so happy that they're back. <laughs> there's something there. Yes, there's something there. Oh, terrible. Terrible, terrible puns. <laughs> and I, I refuse to be a part of it. I refuse, to, I refuse to add puns to this uh, already, already terrible, uh, terrible pun game. <laughs> I 
I am sincerely sorry for anybody that either read the instructions or has played the game for themselves. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs>